Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is bring in the bass. Okay, we're going to look at EQ. Okay, there's a couple of ways that you can access the EQs. You can either click on that little space there and it will plug in an EQ, or you can manually do it through the insert section. Okay, so this little section here is, it says audio effects there. Uh, I also call it inserts, okay. So we insert uh, EQs because what we want the bass to do is run through that. With the auxiliaries and the buses, we tap off a little bit of this and send it somewhere else, don't we? And then that also goes into the stereo mix at the end. So EQ is not something that you want to have in parallel. It's something that you want to have in series. So if we double click on that space there, let's try that again. It will bring up our EQ. And if we press play, and then we click on analyze here, it will show us all the frequencies that's contained within our base. And as we move along, you can see it's got these different sections here, different sections light up. So we've got different types of EQs on here that we can use. We have these, which are called uh, filters or uh, low cuts uh, and if we click on that that one will highlight we'll get a red line there we'll get a little dot there now let me show you what this does I'm going to click and hold that little dot there and I'm going to move this across like that so check out what this does So it gets rid of all the really low end stuff. So what it's showing you there is all the stuff it's filtering out. So here, this is still coming through and this is, these frequencies are still coming through, but the diminishing in volume. So that's the, that's the volume there and that's the frequency going across. So it's saying 200 Hertz, it starts to roll off. And then around here, around about 30, there's nothing below 30, uh, but there is some sort of 40, a little bit more 50, a little bit more 60, 70, 80 up to 100 until it gets to the end and there's no filter is, in, is occurring there. So this is what you call uh, a low cut filter, okay? Or a high pass filter as well because it's, it's allowing the high frequencies to pass but it's taking the low uh, frequencies out. So I refer to it as a low cut filter, okay? Taking out the frequencies there. We come right the other end. Sometimes you have to switch these on and off. You see that one's grayed out. I'm going to play this as well. Can you see what that's doing? That's totally taking out all the high end. So this is a high cut filter, so it cuts the high frequencies out uh, and has the opposite effect. Okay, so where would you use these? You would use this filter here uh, if it was really too bassy, it was really boomy. Uh, so sometimes it's nice to just take out a little bit of the bass if it's kind of overpowering. Uh, you don't want to make it too thin though, otherwise it will have a presence on bigger speakers. Where would you use the high cut? Well, if you've got hiss or there was noise or, or something, uh, or high frequencies that you wouldn't want, or if you really, really want to round the sound of the bass off by taking out the higher frequencies in the note, then you would use that. Other EQ types we have are these ones here, which are known as uh, shelves. Okay, so they're similar to the low cuts, uh, but not as, not as not as uh, severe uh, if we can just get this uh, so that's right there so let's move that down there can you see that shape that's a, a shelf it puts a shelf in rather than just cutting off 
all the frequencies underneath it just attenuates them attenuate is a word that we use to describe uh, the action of turning down uh, the volume of certain frequencies so that's a low shelf and again that's quite useful for getting rid of uh, lower frequencies and if the shelf actually works the other way as well so you can boost Look what's happening to the output though, once you start to get a lot of bass you start to get clipping, you've got clipping there as well. So that is a little bit too loud. So, so notice how that's the volume's changed drastically now, taking that down. You also have that here as well, high shelf. So we can shelve higher frequencies as well, uh, or boost as well. Uh, if we press, press play now, and do this. I'm going to put this in solo again so you can hear what's happening. Not a lot will be happening because there's no frequencies there, so we're boosting nothing. Until we get where the frequencies are. So that's how EQs work. If there's nothing there to boost, they're not going to work as much as you turn them up. They're not going to do anything. Then we have these parametric EQs. Uh, these work in a slightly different way that we have. We can boost and cut frequencies. And let's, let's just play the bass again. Right, let's turn this up there. And then let's move it back where our peaks are so we can get a slightly warmer sound out of the bass by just pushing out those sort of like I'm around 80 hertz there I think it just say there it just say exactly what frequency I'm at there so that's our low cut our shelf which I'm not really using at the moment and this is our uh, first parametric EQ what we can do sometimes as well is use a second one here's the next one and we can pull that down and attenuate frequencies. So you can boost some, cut some, and this is how we equalize the sound. That's why they're called equalizers, because equalizing the sound so, uh, so it fits better in the mix. What we can also do with this as well uh, is to, if we click on there, okay, let's just hover over there. Let's move to the side, and we get this, and we can change the width, the bandwidth of the EQ. So this really determines how we pinpoint one frequency and not affect others. The more narrow you get, the kind of less musically round it sort of sounds. So, uh, but it's useful because sometimes this, you know, these can be too wide, and it's just about just tuning it in and and getting the right frequency and just getting that sweet spot. And that's where that's why mix engineers get paid you know thousands and thousands of pounds for the job they do because they know how to do this process and this is where really the art of mixing comes in is, is how you kind of operate these to get really sweet sounds uh, so that's EQs we've got a few more goes at a parametric as well there's a there's a few other ones so you can really get into shape and sound so we can do that to to all our sounds we'll have a look at this again uh, with some of the other tracks <laughs> 